What was this episode of Mob Psycho? It was like a fever dream. Pick back up with the group headed to Mount Mudboat because there have been a lot of sightings of UFOs there on New Year's Eve. It turns out they happen once every seven years and it has actually been seven years since the last one took place. So it looks like they are destined to luck out. Mob throws up from car sickness showing that he is not in fact invincible like he thought he was. Like I guess this guy is actually mortal which is honestly hard to comprehend considering what we've seen from him so far this season. Also Raiken gets them lost which seems about right considering this man always seems to be doing something dumb like Come on, my guy. After they get lost trying to climb the mountain, Homie then throws a tantrum, which is because she feels like she was lied to by them about them finding a telepath, and she feels like she is getting blamed for the fact that they've come here in the first place. Even though she wants to go home and is clearly done with this at the moment, Mob is able to convince her to continue. This is another showing of Mob's development, which has become very prevalent so far this season. They then finally reach the top of Mount Mudboat. Is this the moment they'll be able to summon a UFO? Although it seems like they won't be able to use the spell that they've seen in the book to summon the UFO. This is because they left the book in the car and no one seems that they can remember. So all hope seems lost in this moment. However, it turns out that Takenaka memorized it? He was actually thoroughly studying the night before and wasn't just late because of his nervousness. What an absolute legend! It turns out though that Tomei just felt bad for forcing her delusions onto them and doesn't want this to all be a waste. They all firmly disagree with her telling her that they wanted to do this all along for her. Of course, Tomei being super dense, as usual, tells him they should have been honest earlier. Like for one, surely she could have just paid attention. And two, why couldn't she have just expressed her feelings earlier? It would have saved a lot of hassle, but I guess we just move on from this point. And in a crazy twist, it turns out all this was false? The author of the book was arrested for being a fraud? Anyway, even though this won't actually work, from Reagan's words to them, they realize that this is a memory they can actually treasure forever. Which is what Tomei wanted to do all along. So even through this failure, thank seem to have worked out always remember that trying your best at something you want to do is never a waste then mob decides to try to send a telepathic message to the ufo then after doing this all of his efforts appear to be to no avail as soon as tomei appears to have given up along with the rest of the group she points to the sky saying that surely it happened in the future and just then a ufo appears the timing is just immaculate then the aliens come down to meet them they look extremely weird like i don't even know what to compare them to that's really how it's just odd they look honestly the aliens then want to show them inside their ship so they all get sucked up by the aliens pause into the ship which really isn't something i would recommend to any of you if some Somehow you find yourself in this situation. However, in this instance, they appear to get lucky as the aliens seem friendly. Then they begin to play games with the aliens and seem to just generally be having a great time. Okay, it's the same as what the telepathy club once was, but just failing. So you can say it's even better, I guess. As the new year hits, they realize it's time for them to start heading home, ending off the group exchanging gifts of friendship with the aliens. Honestly, this is pretty wholesome, but I'm still so weirded out by the situation. Like, what is going on? Then they all head back to Earth. All that is, except Inukawa. If you thought this episode can't get any weirder, it actually manages to. Aliens take them back to their planet and give him a big ass welcome ceremony. Like, this shit was like a whole concert for the whole entire planet. He then basically gets drugged by the food they were feeding him and proceeds to just get naked and start running around on stage. I have no idea what was happening. This episode is seriously like a fever dream. He then slays the monster that has been terrorizing the aliens as it is basically just as big as a dog which it seems to have been terrorizing them for like a really long time and he's just like hey I'm just gonna kick it and ends it there. Craziness. But then because of this he is treated like a hero all around the aliens planet. Bro even bags what seems like the queen alien? This is insane. Then after this wild scenario that he has been put in, Inukawa is finally able to tell the aliens that he would like to be taken back to Earth. However, his memories are really fuzzy and he can barely remember anything by the time he gets back. When we last see him, it appears that he is just lost on the mountain. I'm still lost about what I just witnessed. It was both funny and dumbfounding at the same time. Definitely not the best episode of Mob Psycho, but from what I've heard, there's a crazy episode coming up. So stay tuned for a recap on that. And feel free to subscribe and join the dojo. 